the uk girls have brought bright on the eye makeup back hey guys welcome to my channel my name is matilda the white concealer is trending all over the internet and let's be real with each other white concealer ain't gonna work for us like it might work for some people but it's not gonna work for all of us so if you want that bright on the eye look you want to have that uk girl makeup look then you need to watch this video because i'm going to show you how to do it without using white concealer okay the first thing we're going to start out with is the foundation so we already know how to apply foundation right if you are a subscriber of my channel this shouldn't really be a problem for you so because this super stay foundation is quite full coverage i'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it out this foundation is very full coverage and if we're trying to get that uk black girl look it's always really glam so you don't want to use a foundation that is light coverage if you want to you can but if you want to achieve that uk black girl makeup look you gotta use a full coverage foundation and because i'm just not in the mood to get the maximum coverage i'm using a beauty blender but if i want to maximize that full coverage i'm going to use a brush the thing with beauty blender is that you can never go wrong with beauty blender beauty blenders always give you a smooth finish like even if you use a brush finalize it with a beauty blender and you're definitely going to see a difference in your foundation application okay so i went on to do my nose contour that's going to be a separate video don't worry i got you so usually people are going to use that white concealer bright under eyes are trending every freaking year it's funny how i think last year or last two years we all were all doing natural glowy glam now you guys want uk girl glam you want bright under eyes right outside is now open you want to go out you don't want to do glowy anymore right okay we know that uk girl makeup is characterized by bright under eye and they do it so flawlessly so you don't need a white concealer to get that bright under eye so as you guys already know i would normally use my la girl pro concealer which is closer to my skin tone to highlight and i will also use my zaron concealer which is much lighter than my skin tone so when it comes to this placement is key i always say so now you guys are going to watch how i'm going to place the concealer because that's what you are going to do when you want to replicate this look start out with the chin forehead we're just going to concentrate the concealer at the top because we're going to be using a lot of concealer there's no need to do the whole triangle method all you just have to do is place the concealer at the top of the eye so you want to do this to elongate the eyes give you that cut eye look you want to make sure that you're putting enough concealer to cover up your eyes if you notice i didn't drag the concealer too down because when we're blending it we want space for the concealer to be able to blend so we just concentrate it at the top of the eyes so i have my zaron concealer which is a lighter one so this is the trick guys this is the trick you get a concealer that is much lighter than your concealer it doesn't have to be white especially if you're black you don't need to use white stark white concealer you're going to concentrate that light concealer here at the front place it on top of the concealer and based on how light you want it to be you can keep on adding the lighter concealer more and more but don't take it here just leave it to be concentrated in this front now we have our white concealer on lockdown let's leave the concealer to dry a bit because i personally love blending my concealer when it's more dry instead of just blending it right away my preference and i find that it gives it more coverage and it helps it not to spread all over my face too much and that can be really annoying so now let's go on to the contour if you guys watched the video where i was following uche Naturi's makeup she contoured at the top of her lips and i'm not even gonna lie i love it so now let's contour i'm gonna we want the high cheekbone so we go higher instead of here go higher go for the forehead if you got a big forehead like me you can be so generous with the contour on the forehead because we're trying to cover it up we're trying to cover it up Let's go on and blend the contour. I don't want my contour to dry. I can stand my concealer drying, but the contour, no boy, no. Oh, I don't want no harsh lines. 
oh i'm gonna go on to my pixie on the glow blush these are my favorite things ever i love them a lot so this is in the shade ruby this is in shade juicy i'm gonna use that to apply as my blush personally i love to mix them and i like to apply them at the back of my hands i go on to my beauty blender and blend it in i like to put on a lot but i like to use the orange one the one that is more orange and put it in between my concealer and contour to add a little bit of warmth and kind of give that bronzy effect then for my cheeks i add the pink and the orange together i went on to do my brows if you guys want a brow tutorial i will leave a card here and if you guys want an updated brow tutorial let me know in the comment section now it's time to blend it's time to blend the concealer starting out with the chin blend the edges first tap in you done blending your edges let's go on to the top blend the edges too and now the edges are blended can you see the gradient that's going on in this forehead can you see like it's given right so now let's bend out the edges of the under eye we will not touch the white one first though just dealing with the one that's closer to our skin tone Mm, yummy. now we're done with the edges blending now let's focus on the inside so here we're not going to blend too much we're just going to tap 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 a little bit because we want to still retain the brightness now we can tackle the white side for the white side you don't do too much just tap a little bit not too much not too much once you're done blending the way you see fit your concealer is well blended there are no harsh lines there are no creases you now go into a bright powder so for that i'm going to be using my mirror cosmetics powder in the shade ginger so this powder it's translucent so as you can see the color i'm just going to place the powder on where i conceal it so i'll use the powder puff that came with it you guys know powder puffs are the truth when it comes to makeup dust up the excess shit and um, set it so as i'm adding the powder i know you are thinking girl you look crazy as f well yeah i look crazy but you're the one that wants a bright under eye what do you think was gonna happen hmm? what do you think mm -hmm. This ain't no natural beat, this is a full glam. So I'm just stacking up the powder layer by layer instead of just putting it all at once. For the rest of the places I highlighted with concealer, I'm not gonna put as much powder as I did under my eyes. I'm just going to put a little bit of powder just to set the concealer so it won't move. Okay, now we're done setting the face, it's time to contour. So I'm gonna be using a powder which is darker than me so i'm gonna be alternating between these two shades right here to contour my face i'll use an angled brush to do so we have succeeded in looking like a ghost it's time for the finishing touches because that's what's going to make or break this look but first of all you know can't forget blush it's not a Matilda to cool video without blush. So, you know me, I like to improvise. I'm going to be using eyeshadow as blush. So, I'll go into my Lydia Stanley palette and use a couple of pink and orange shade. The shade Esther, the shade Heart Eye, and the shade Amber. I'll mix these three together to get my perfect blush. To finalize the look, I'm going to go into my skin tone powder and this is the Milani compact powder. This is close to my skin tone so I'll take a big fluffy brush, tap on the powder. I'm going to apply the powder in between this and this, this and this to make it one because now they are all separated. Hmm? 
they're separated so i want to make it one so that's where this powder is gonna come in The UK Girl makeup is not complete without a nude glossy lip. So I've done that for a lot of my videos recently, so I'm not going to add it to this video. I'll just leave a card here on my signature nude lip. It's going to be the same thing I'm going to do. So you can check it out if you're interested. So for the UK Girl makeup, um, they're not really particular about highlights. Some girls add highlights, some don't, so it depends on you. For me, I'm just going to add a little bit of highlights just because there's just a kind of look highlights gives you that it's just really unmatched so just add a little bit so we have it guys this is the final look nobody should come and ask me what my base routine is anymore this is the base routine i use and if you want to learn it watch this video i'm always going to redirect you back to this video until i change my technique but this is what i'm doing right now i've given you guys all the tea or everything so let me know in the comments do you guys like this makeup did you guys learn anything from this video is this giving uk girl makeup is it giving bright on the eye i can't even lie i look good i look phenomenal as if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel please please so if you guys want to see me outside of youtube you can check me out on instagram facebook pinterest tiktok all matilda duku and if you want to learn how to create this nose contour then i'm gonna leave a video here and i'll leave other videos for you to watch guys please support your girl support your girl watch my videos guys i'll see you in my next video bye